I'm here at Rice University with Professor Patricia Reif, who if you are going to see the partial eclipse and you're staying in Houston and you don't have solar eclipse glasses, there's some creative things you can do to be able to see the eclipse. In Houston, it will never be total. So it's never safe to look at the sun unless you use projection techniques or filters for your eyes. One fun thing to do is to get a disco ball. If you've got a straw hat with a lot of holes in it. So you can see that there are holes in this. All right. And the key is, again, you're never looking directly at the sun. What you're doing is you're looking at the reflection on the surface through. the trans It's actually a transmission. Look Another that. thing that you have in your house. We all have these. <laughs> there it is. And every one of these will make a little tiny uh, eclipse. Now, another one is okay. to make a projector out of a plastic cup. Put a quarter inch a hole in the bottom. Doesn't need to be perfectly round. Okay. And then take a 1X readers, reading glasses from the dollar store. So if you have readers at home, I know a lot of us have those at home and they're just in drawers, not doing anything. Right. You can now take them apart. Take them apart. Take one lens and put it on top with the curved side up and it will cast an image in focus at one meter. And so you can move it in and out till you get the image in focus. And what you're talking about here, these are a lot of things that most people don't even know about. They know about the pinhole cameras and that's it. But this is really creative. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. If you do have the solar filters, then there's a lot more things you can do. Okay, what's that? Well, the first thing I should say is wherever you buy your eclipse glasses, protect them. And this is important because the last one was 2017, and I know a lot of us still have these at home. And if you've taken really, really good care of them, you'll be fine. The only thing you should be able to see is the sun. But if you can Nothing see any else. kind of light and you're outside and you see any kind of light, they're bad. They're bad. I love what you did with the kids here. They can put it in front of their right. face and they're not as likely to look around it. Eclipses are different from a normal day. Normal day, you're not going to stare at the sun. Right. Because it's getting dark, your pupils are opening up. If you look at the sun, that little crescent will be burned on your retinas, and that's what we're right. really worried about. What did you do here for the kids? This is kind of fun. If you staple it to the front of a baseball cap, then, hands-free, I can kind of keep an eye on the eclipse. <laughs> this is brilliant. I, I love what you did here. This is really, really wonderful. Here's a regular pair of sunglasses. Right. Do I not use regular Do sunglasses. not use that. I can see through those just fine. These are special ISO-rated eclipse glasses. Now, can you see me through that? You cannot. That is, that is pitch black. They're basically the same, but you see the difference in quality because you're dealing with paper here and then you've got a nice sturdy surface here to see the eclipse and you're not really messing with it as much because it is more sturdy. Yeah, these are Celestron Eclipse Smart 2X. Pop them open and look at well, the sun. And they're ready-made binoculars. They're ready-made binoculars. I've never seen this before. And this one, or these two are even a little more sturdy, but they're solar eclipse binoculars. It's good, it's comfortable, it works really well. Okay. Now, my absolute favorite way to okay. To uh, observe the eclipse, though, uh -huh. which is a regular pair of binoculars, but with solar filters on it. You obviously do not use regular binoculars. You have to have your filters. Tell me about, I see two different things you have. These are commercial filters. You can get them in any size. Uh, these are from Rainbow Symphony. And the nice thing about them is that when, if you're going to a place with totality, you can just pop them off for totality because only during totality can you observe without a filter, okay? But if you don't have one of those, you can take a regular pair of solar eclipse glasses and tape them down securely with nothing showing, no gaps. You can actually put an iPhone up to this and get a picture. Is there anything else you have for us? One thing I like to do with the kids is um, UV uh, sensitive beads that you can buy and they're clear uh, if there's no sunlight on them but as soon as the sunlight hits them they start changing colors they can make themselves a ring or a necklace or something and you can now monitor how the sun is going away by how dim your necklace gets. Which is great for Houston here because we are getting the the 94 percent and so you are going to see a dimming with that. Right. For the professional and for my classes 
I like to use what's called a sun spotter. Oh yeah, this is much more advanced. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's actually a very very clever technique that has one lens and three mirrors, so it gives a long path length. You align it by making the shadow go away, and that right. means that's pointing straight at the sun, and you'll get an image of the sun that's about right there, yeah. three and a half inches across, and people can photograph that or monitor that. And again, it's completely, perfectly right. safe. Because you're not looking at all at the sun. So I developed this screen. You can download the pattern and have it uh, printed up at any banner shop. They put this in a doorway that's facing to the south. For Houston, the eclipse is going to be in the south. So the idea is you cut out these holes and put the eclipse cards in them, and then you put it in a doorway so the kids can only view the sun through the, the banner. And yeah. then you can have short kids and tall kids. <laughs> and if you have a big piece of the screen, then you could put binoculars or a camera the students are only looking through the filters and they stay perfectly safe and technically they're still inside yes, their school. Inside the class. <laughs> and, and by the way, what I love about this, it shows what the phases of the partial eclipse and what we're getting in Houston is almost right at 95%. And so it gives a good example of what we're going to see in Houston. And that might look great, but it's still not totality. You really want to be in totality to, to be able to see the sun's corona, for example. But if you can't and you're in school, this is still good. 